A new survey has found that firms believe training plans are effective in retaining mature workers, but companies are falling short of making this a reality. The study, conducted between July and August last year, involved more than 600 executives across 16 industries. Whether it's reskilling or expanding one's knowledge, businesses say such causes for elderly workers are essential. The survey revealed that a quarter of respondents regarded training plans as the best way to keep mature workers employed. It's followed by flexible workplace arrangements and health and wellness support. That's among the findings of the study by the National Trades Union Congress and Sao Foundation, a non-profit dedicated to promoting active ageing. These are all things that would allow us basically to take advantage of older workers' abilities and, and, and also to take advantage of these older workers and their talent as a source of manpower in, in, in an era and in a world where we have fewer younger workers. And the older workers of today are different from the older workers of yesteryears. But there's a mismatch when it comes to putting such ideals into practice. Less than a third of firms say they implement such training plans. That's compared to nearly half of companies with flexible work arrangements and 42% that support employees' well-being. One business leader says new firms might overlook training. So one of the fundamental reasons it could be due to uh, reasons like uh, there are other things that they need to chase after. For example, profitability, uh, survivability at the, at the very beginning. Even if such plans are in place, one industry watcher says mature workers are more likely to benefit from job-relevant training. Based on our qualitative study, what we can see is that they are interested to go for training. Uh, what came up was that if you are going to be you know, learning a new skill, they want to be able to immediately be applicable to, to what they have learned, to want to be able to apply it to uh, their jobs. That's why NTUC and Sao Foundation agreed to study the best ways to train mature workers to ensure their employability. Two new research studies will explore the benefits of older workers and what practices can help them remain competitive. Already two projects are in the pipeline for us to anchor our advocacy from Sao Foundation and NTUC, not just to tell government what to do, but to provide database, properly analyze uh, research with our universities to put in credible policy proposals. The agreement was signed at a symposium where industry players shared strategies on harnessing the skills of senior workers.